Birria tacos, hot chicken, and even rolled charcoal ice cream are just a few of the most current food trends that flood my delivery app recommendations. Well, it just so happens that food trends went viral at a similar speed in a pre-mukbang society, which saw dishes from humble beginnings become nearly ubiquitous and can still be found on restaurant menus throughout the world. This holds true for the one and only Caesar salad. Yeah, the $4 sad lunch you pick up at Trader Joe's that's named after the infamous Roman emperor was actually conceived in an immigrant-owned restaurant on the other side of the world in Tijuana, Mexico. So tell me, what you know about Caesar salad? Before we dig into the dish itself, we must introduce you to Caesar Cardini, an Italian immigrant who arrived in the United States in the early 1900s, back when kale was still used to present buffet food and before people were putting spinach in their smoothies. While we're on the topic, aerobics, I don't care if you can't taste it, my pineapple mango smoothie is now green and I'm freaking out. Keep that away. I digress. Cardini first opened up Brown's Restaurant in Sacramento before moving to San Diego a few years later to open up his self-titled French restaurant, Caesars. The original building is actually still there at 535 University Avenue, if any of you amateur historians out there would like to visit. During the 1920s, wealthy Americans would frequent Tijuana to escape prohibition laws and get wasted without the man killing their vibe. Caesar saw an opportunity to capitalize on high society's unsatiated vices and opened up another restaurant that was also named Caesar's across the border in Tijuana. According to Caesar's daughter, Rose Cardini, the chef's famous salad was first made on July 4, 1924, when the restaurant was struggling to accommodate the large number of American customers flooding into Mexico. Because if there's one thing rich Americans are good at, it's spending money and eating. That's actually two things. After all, big wallets mean big tummies. With a lack of ingredients, Chef Cardini improvised with some romaine lettuce, coddled eggs, croutons, lime juice, though the salad is now commonly served with lemon, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, and Worcestershire sauce, all tossed together tableside for that extra flair. Not only was it a hit that day with customers, but it became a full-on leaf-based revolution. So much so that in 1953, it was named by the International Society of Epicure in Paris as the most significant recipe to come from the Americas in the last half century. Even Julia Child wrote extensively about her love of the dish, having visited Caesar's restaurant herself to have the real thing. You heard that right. The legendary chef that accomplished the impossible task of getting Americans to master fine French cooking made a foodie pilgrimage to Tijuana to try a salad. Which, come to think of it, kind of makes Harold and Kumar's trip to get a few sliders look like child's play. Turns out, this accidental salad that came out of Caesar's restaurant was just that good. And in 1948, he patented the recipe. Now, as far as who actually deserves credit for inventing the Caesar salad, this is where things get a little bit dicey. Sure, it has the chef and restaurant owner's namesake, but there are also accounts that claim his brother Alex Cardini tossed the first salad, adding anchovies, and dubbed it the Aviator's Salad, as it was served to U.S. airmen that were dining that day. Also, Chef Livio Santini, who was working at the restaurant, claims it was his mother's recipe that Caesar slapped his name on after it became a popular menu item. Honestly, if you get too far into the nitty gritty, it turns into a he said, she said that spirals into a tale of Cardini's evil twin brother attempting to replace Caesar and claim the recipe as his own. But there's a twist. He wasn't always evil and was actually brainwashed by Cardini's estranged Thea as part of her master plan to steal the family fortune. Now that sounds like a savory yet refreshing telenovela with a delicate splash of citrus. I love it. Today, the Cardini Family Restaurant is still open for business at Hotel Caesars in the Avenida Revolucion Center. So, head on down to TJ if you want to taste the OG Caesar salad that is now made on purpose and enjoyed far beyond the borders of the ancient Roman Empire. I'm Bruno. No, I'm Caesar. Nope, I'm Caesar, Caesar Bruno. Nope, okay, Bruno Caesar. Wait, did I invent it? Who invented, who invented the salad? I'm Bruno. I'm, I'm Caesar. <laughs> <laughs>